Welcome to Fort Amherst in Kent, the location for a very special charity ghost investigation in aid of Help for Heroes. In this film, we shall be showing highlights from the evening's event, with footage of special guests Frank Bruno, Richard Felix, psychic mediums Barry John and Roy Roberts, and presenter and author Jackie Newcomb, as she interviews the public about their own paranormal experiences, as well as dropping in on the night's vigils. I'm Denise and I'm the owner and founder of Compass Paranormal Events. Tonight at Fort Amherst is our launch for our company and all the money that we raise on tonight's events is going towards Help for Heroes, which is a very worthy charity. Fort Amherst is Britain's finest example of a Napoleonic fortress. With over 300 years of history, its main purpose was to protect the former Royal Dockyard at Chatham from a land-based attack. The original defences were over three kilometres in length enclosing the dockyard and the village of Brompton. With such a long history, it's not surprising to find Fort Amber still home to many ghosts and spirits. Dark figures have been reported along the many tunnels. The sound of heavy footsteps has been heard, and discarnate voices echo around the former fort. for being here with us tonight. I'd just uh, like to ask you a couple of questions. Steve is the area coordinator for Help for Heroes and Help for Heroes is the charity that we're supporting tonight for the charity. Steve, tell me about your role with Help for Heroes. Well, my job in, in this area is to coordinate any events if people want to ha help with the event. We, in the charity, let people get on running their own events, but maybe they need a little bit of help. They may need some banners or they may need the help to get them into the radio or onto the television so or on, on the newspaper. So that's my job really, to try and coordinate that. But at the same time, I put my own events on, on my own fundraising side of things for the charity. You're a busy man then? Reasonably so, yeah. So you help support people who are doing fundraising right, as well? Yeah, yeah I'll go and do talks to um, different groups, whether it be um, any sort of Freemasons, Buffaloes, all that sort of people, groups of people who raise money for the charity who ask us to come and do talks about the charity and whatever, that's what I do. Yeah, and you yourself do talks for the charity. Um, th today was my 64th. 64th, that's pretty impressive. 64th event. 64th, yeah. Thank you. So tonight's money is very important now. Tell us what we're going to do, what we're going to do with the money that we've raised for tonight. All the money we raise in Helping Heroes goes to the front line, to the, to the troops themselves, where they probably one of the most efficient charities Every single penny that somebody donates to us will go directly to the lads. In fact, you say more. It's actually more. Because of the gift aid situation and because we sell merchandise, the profits from that merchandise cover our running costs. Fantastic. But also then put money into the pot. So it actually works out that £1.8p goes to the front line. Not many directly charities can to say that. Can't I don't have any charities that can say that. And we've raised on average, I think it's £47,000 a day since the day we started the charity. £47,000 a day. I think about £1.25 million pound per month constantly coming in to the charity. And that's nationwide? It is. Uh, we started off just looking to raise £6 million pound for Headley Court for the rehabilitation centre. And yesterday it was announced we'd gone through the £40 million pound barrier. That's absolutely amazing. Well, it's been fantastic to meet you. Thank you very much. I'm glad that we've been able to have you here tonight. With a location with such a renowned paranormal history, Jackie Newcomb asked what mediums Barry John and Roy Roberts feel about the night ahead. Wow. We've just had a quick walk in here, a quick warning, because we want to see what's going off before the guests arrive, and that's when we get a lot of activity, isn't it, Roy? Yeah, it is. And I'm quite buzzing, I don't know about you. It's like, do you know what, my feet are itching and I'm, I'm rearing to go now, but I'm like a big kid on a ghost hunt. That's oh, the problem. Yeah, yeah. I do feel there's quite a bit of residual. Picking yeah. stuff up. Have you picked up anything in, in as you've come through? Mm, a few, let's wait and see. Oh, he's going to hold it as a surprise, but I'm going to do the same. But we want to get the activity yeah. going, don't we? We don't want people to know just yet. No, we need to be in suspense, Jackie. That's the problem with us as mediums. We like True. suspense. Well, I know hold that. It, you right. can tell, you tell right, me later. <laughs> have you got your walkie talkie? I have, you know? yeah. So if you find anything you're going to post me, let me know. I definitely do. I've got my ghost busting machine and everything, Jackie, so don't worry, if we find one, we'll save it. Don't forget to come and tell me. I've got my spirit board. Well, I'll bring it to you. And there you go, Roy's got a spirit, spirit board. Spirit board to do. Anyway. Right. Wonderful. I'll see you I'm guys thrilled. later. I'm thrilled. 
Can't wait. <laughs> the night begins with the reception at the nearby military museum and the introduction of the evening's guests who are supporting the charity. So, if you please put it down in your pockets because it all was going to help the heroes and it'll help all that. So, thank you very much indeed. And, uh, crack on. All right. Who doesn't believe? Right. You don't believe you're going in the all coffin. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all, these, all these disbelievers, you've got a shot coming tonight. Yeah, we want some serious action, we want some serious movement, and that's from you lot, never mind the ghost. Alright? Remember, this is your night and this is what you make of it. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for the evening, please give a warm welcome to Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno's here, there's a little buzzing going on. We're going to go and have a little wander around. Why, Barry? Because we want to know what their thoughts are, Jackie. We want we to know if there's any people that believe in the paranormal. We want some experiences. We want to know what their thoughts are. Well, what we're hoping is if we can find people who've had experiences previously, maybe we'll get a chance to have an interview later on, find out what they've done. Now, Richie, we picked you as a bit of a victim, haven't we? Yeah. We got you on the spot. I dread to think where you were going. <laughs> but, but that's what we like to see, you see, because when I do workshops or events, I don't have volunteers, I have victims. Because you find so many people that want to play. And that's the thing tonight. What are you going to have a go at with us, Ricky? Well, I've come with Richie with an open mind that I'm, I'm open to have a go at anything. Brilliant. One thing that's come to my mind, the other half, Beth Half, was telling me about the coffin thing. And, Will it help if I tell you that I've been in the coffin? And we've had the lid down. And how did I feel? I didn't scream. Didn't? No, but do you know what, Richie? We were going to leave her there. That's the thing. <laughs> well, that's what scared me. And you know what? <laughs> we wanted to leave her there, but she knew where we was going. They're mean, aren't they? You're not allowed to sleep, are you? Will you, protect, will you protect me, Richie? Of oh, course. So, what experiences have you had, Richie? Eh. Uh, I think the only one that I've really had is shaking windows and that in really? our house. Yeah, just for no reason. We live in London and for no for no apparent reason where we was, we had the sash windows and both of them shut finally and for whatever reason. Now, now listeners gonna say, was it a windy day? No. There's nothing we looked in the sky, going there was no airplanes, there was no nothing. There, there was nothing. We even went over there, looked to look for them where they are, the terraced houses and there, there's no wind that could get over there. And so what do you think it was? Open-minded. I, I think there was something there. I, I felt like I've, I felt a presence or something, but you just never know. Do you believe in the afterlife? Then do you believe in the other side that there I, is something there? I believe in something, but not sure. I don't really know. Yeah. I believe in energies and things like that, but hell and heaven and things like that. I don't want. I'm really looking forward to this now. You know. Okay, we're we, we love. It. Everybody we've spoke to tonight wants to have a go, they want to join in and they want an experience and that's the people that we want working with us. Well I've got an open mind, I'm going to try and see for myself, see how it feels and see what other people see. Richie, thank you very much. No, thank you. Have thank a great you. night. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I find the paranormal fascinating. Okay. Um, it is a, a, a brand new world, it's just, it's just, it blows me away. Have you been ghost hunting before? Never. Never. So this is all new and exciting. Oh god, yeah. you don't know. <laughs> this is really exciting. Yeah, yeah exciting. Oh, look, it's I love the nerves. I love to see the nerves. <laughs> can you feel the nerves? Yeah, I can feel I can yours. Feel but see, yours fascinates me because you're a medium anyway. So, what are you hoping from tonight? What do you guys want? Oh, you look, oh no, now the way that we always do it, you see, we want people to be involved. We like so the red, by the way. <laughs> we like the matching pair. The red twins. Yeah, we like the matching pair. Yes, no, I was going to say, I got no, there was a, there was a, there was well a thought to my madness. I thought, well, if I get, I get a bit confused, I'm not a loser. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure many people are going to get lost in them tunnels tonight, but we'll soon find that out later. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, cheers. Nice to meet you. See you later. Guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Now, I understand that you're not brand new to this sort of thing. You, you've had experiences in the past? Yes, yes we have, yeah. Tell us, David, what have you experienced? Um, me and myself, uh, sorry, me and Jack, um, done a Ouija board in the van, in my van. Your van? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never heard of a Ouija board session no, that you've done in a van before? No, no. Okay. On a beach. 
I don't want to know about that. Sorry, uh, Dave. That's all right. No worries. <laughs> um, we have air fresheners on the indicator. Right. Well, I do. Okay. Um, As you do. In between us two doing the board, we had our hoods up looking at the board. Yeah. And it's got up onto the dashboard. The air freshener. Air freshener. Yeah. The air freshener's yeah. gone. Okay. Come off the indicator like that. Off the indicator. And onto the dashboard. Okay. Um, then we got back to home. Got back yeah. home, went in, come out, and it's back on the dashboard. Okay, that um, sounds a bit frightening yeah, to me. Yeah, very. And we got up to eight air fresheners, and it was still putting all, all eight on top of the dashboard. And the car's locked? Oh yeah, everything's locked, no windows, we've tried right. slamming both doors. Anyone else have a key? Because no. we've got to ask No, that. definitely not. 100%. Anybody get access to your key? No. 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 Not, not in no the... way it could have happened. No. In the space, like, we go to a petrol garage, quickly go into pay for the petrol, and then when we're back, it's moved. So you've got a naughty, yeah. naughty air pressure you know Do my advice. What's that? Sell the van. That's what <laughs> <laughs> well, that you said. Sell Pass the on the problem. Yeah, pass yeah. on the problem. Yeah. Now, yeah. What we have to remember is, it's, it's not a problem. If you if you disturb some energy, that's all it is. Yeah. You know, and my advice would be, do you know what, if it's not bothering you, do you know what, we're having a bit of fun. Sounds like yeah. Take fun. it as a little bit of fun. You're not yeah. scared though. Oh yeah, well, you are. Oh, I've had to get out of the van, yeah. yeah. So there you go, yeah, you're ready oh, yeah, here yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Well, really scared. The first ever haunted air freshener. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Julie, this is your first time ghost hunting. Why are you scared? No. Why not? I'm, I'm just not afraid. It's got a very good feeling in my mind. And you know what? We've had some great stories already, haven't we? People having experiences yeah. before and ghosts already. Mm -hmm. no, torches going on, talking about experiences. Julie, can I ask you, will you go in the coffin? No. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I just can't do it. Just not for you. No, it's just not for me. Okay, so what's your belief in the afterlife? Then? Oh, I believe that there is an afterlife, yes. And I think it's a great question, isn't it? Because so many people have a belief, but you know what? A lot of us don't understand what it is and where it is. No, and I think so long as we have an acceptance that there is an afterlife and that out there there's another world that lives on, I think it's such an amazing thought for all of us. Yeah. Do you think we might bring that tonight? Yes, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Thank you, Julia. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Julia. We'd like a nice costume, haven't we? Okay. What do you think is in store for tonight? Well, I think should we go find out? Fetch another one. Let's go Come on, then, guys. Let's fetch somebody else. Can I ask you to explain to me about what you experienced? It was in the pub that I used to work in, yeah. and I was all on my own. I'd just opened up the pub, and I was sitting the customer side of the bar, and I saw a figure, a man, walk from the back of the pub to, and it disappeared just before it got to the door. And what did, what did it look like? Was it ghostly? Was it, did it look like a real person? It didn't look like a real person, no. It was... A shadow? Of, or? It was kind of like a shadow, yeah. Um, but I, I can remember what he was wearing as well. What, what was he wearing? He had a long, a long coat on and it, it was like a, you know, like the wax yeah. roof yeah. stuff yeah. and a tall hat. And that's all I can remember. So what sort of era would you say? <coughs> modern day? Old? No, not modern day. Oh, with a hat? Oh, with a hat, yeah. Excellent. So are you hoping to see something like that tonight? I hope so. Yeah, it would be exciting. Mm -hmm. Heading back to Fort Amherst and inside the marquee, what does Frank Bruno think about the paranormal? Frank, obviously we're here on a ghost hunt tonight. We're, we're absolutely thrilled to have you here as our celebrity guest. Um, they're wicked characters and some, some characters out there. Wicked. You've, en you've enjoyed meeting them? None of them are very, very nice. It's been a little bit cold. I wish I was told. I would put my tights on, the gloves on, the hat on, everything. We've all got thermals on, Frank. That's why we do ghost hunting. Right. Did you just say you wanted tights on? No, 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 not them sort of tights, not that kinky. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to clarify that point there. No, not that kinky. So what, what do you think of ghost hunting then, Frank? Uh, just a quick insight from your view. Every tailor has a tailor. Some like them turned up, some like them fleared, some like them drained. But if you're into that, good luck to you, you know? I totally agree, you oh, know. that kinky boss. <laughs> I'd rather not know nothing, you know what I mean? Because I live by myself and I don't want to go home tonight and then the door just flies open. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you it's behind you. No, not yet. You know what I mean? And all that. You know, right? Well, do you know something? It's, it's, it really is an honour, this, to have somebody with us tonight who really does support what we're doing and also the support for Help for Heroes. Definitely, definitely. Help for Heroes is very much important. Ghosts, I think I better just delete that out of my head by the time I go home tonight. But Help for Heroes, ride on. Keep it, keep it going. Brilliant. And we've also got some boxing gloves of yours that's been signed yes. um, that are going in the raffle later on. And have they been worn by you? 
Um, I'm not too sure, you know what I mean, but I can wear them tonight because my hands are cold, boss. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I usually wear them at night time to keep the hands moist, you know what I mean? It's not doing anything funny, if you know what I mean, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're going to have some burgers and things in a bit. I, I can tell you that we are in for an extremely good night. We, we're in one of the haunted, most haunted locations. To, I, I was talking to a guy, you probably know Ian Lawman. A lot of you probably heard of Ian Lawman. He, he, he's a medium again that was on the most haunted, and the guy that was on Living With The Dead. And I was with him last night, and he said, Richard, do be careful in Fort Amherst. And I said, oh, here we go again, Scare Factor and all that. But he said, no, it's, apparently it's one of his favourite locations. And, and he believes that, that this fort that you're going to be going in tonight is, is as haunted as anywhere um, in the British Isles. What we need to do today is yous that are going to make the energy work out there today, not us. Right? You need to boost yourself up, perk yourself up, energise yourself. Tell us at the front, show us at the back. No, that's wrong. The number of battlefields that are haunted, that without us knowing, because of the nature of the death of the young soldiers on the battlefield. The number of airfields in this country that are haunted by young trainee airmen that smashed into the ground at 350 miles an hour in a Spitfire, blown to pieces, vaporised, nothing left, 20 foot hole in the ground, and all of a sudden this young 18 year old airman is floating out, it's a bit like the film Ghost, when Sam gets shot and he's walking up to people. Why can't you see me? What, what's happened? Where am I? And it's like the, the airman, he floats out and he's looking down, Christ almighty, that was a bad landing. Whew, um, where's my Spitfire? In fact, where am I? And they spend the rest of, I'm afraid, eternity wandering across the apron of the airfield, always heading in the same direction, towards the control tower. What for? Help, for orders. Is the war still on? I know it was a bad landing, but can I have another go? Do I get another Spitfire? They're still there. They don't know they're dead. Big round of applause for yourselves, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming tonight to support the Heart for Heroes. With everyone ready, the cannon signalled the start of the investigation. Will any former occupants of the fort be making their presence known tonight? Teams have been exploring the caves now for about three quarters of an hour. We're going to go on in and we're going to have a look and see if there's any action. Can I join you? Oh, no, what are we on? Circle, circle number. Number, we've got a number five here. Five. Is that a you? Okay. And five U eight. And remember, the reason we do a lot of ghost hunts in the dark is because it heightens your senses. Okay, it makes you more aware of what's happening around you. It also makes you more aware of like what you're sensing in terms of smell, in terms of hearing. Okay, I can hear voices. Wow, we're hoping we can find Roy. The trouble is, it's so dark. Uh, it's difficult to see where you're going. Now tell me what you're doing. Well, we've got, at the moment, we've got what we call, he's either a sergeant or an officer, I really don't know what one he is, right? And he's actually trying to battle me. So we're actually bringing in my energy, which is my corpse, who's actually bringing in his legs. So we've got lots of it, as you can hear. Right, Michael, let's have this battle. I want that glass thrown off the top of that coffee. Are you ready? Come on, mate. We've got the glass on top of the coffee. We have, yeah. Right, okay, cool. Yeah? Right, okay. I think we've got about five minutes left. What we're going to do, but I want, like, yeah, like I said earlier to the people, I want a Harry Potter battle. Right? And you've got somebody right. inside here, have we? We've got someone in here. Somebody in the coffin. Are you breathing? Yeah. Oh, Fantastic. <laughs> Are you ready, William? I want you to tilt the glass this time again. I want the glass to try and spin under their fingers. I want you to really move with me, mate. Come on, Michael, let him do it. And oh, he's on that wheelchair. I want the lady with the yes. dancing rods. I want her pushed again. Unbelievable. Right? I want her pushed again. 
Come on! If you want me to lead, spin the glass! Come on! Throw it off the end of the table, because you might be me! Michael, now! You're in! Oh! It's gone, it's gone! Oh, we've got it. I want oh, that. Oh. We've lost it again. Michael, I want the glass spinning oh, oh. under their fingers, please. Let's go straight away. Michael! William, do you want to throw the glass in my face? Then do as I tell you. Oh, 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 right, oh, Michael. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, right, there's no oh, things when the glass is still What we're going to do is a few different experiments in here, okay? One of them is called automatic writing. Let me explain to you. We've got two white boards here and some mark pens. All right? We're going to place you at the bottom here where most activity has been happening. And you're going to pass on messages. That's when you write me to say it. Okay, so you can. All right? Okay. I'm going to take my gloves off. I want you all to concentrate now. Build up the energy. And if you'd all like to put your fingers on, let see if we can get a message from a spirit. Let's see if we can get a message from a spirit. Preferably somebody that's from within this location, that's based here historically, or that's here visiting. First of all, I'd just like to ask you to move the, the thing for me to let us know that you're here. You are here with us now in this room and you want to talk to us. You don't have to. We'd love you to spirit with us now here in this room. Move this pointer, this pointer, in any direction you wish. Well, I've just picked up these ladies on my travels and we discovered that they've had some phenomena right at the very beginning of the evening. Lisa, tell me what you experienced. Rich was in the room and he asked if I'd take part in an experiment and um, in sort of the back part of the room with yep. a whiteboard, gave me a marker pen and said, well, clear your mind and just see what comes out on the board. Write with your opposite hand what you normally use. Yep. So I started straight away writing and at the same time I kept getting the words get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Well, you then took yeah, so that as well. See it. Yes. So we're yeah. talking of like an ordinary kitchen, sort of thing you have in a kitchen, an ordinary yeah. whiteboard. Yeah. So were you holding holding the pen on your own or how, how yeah. did it work? How did it yeah, work? literally held the whiteboard in my right hand and with my left hand just put it on the board and then all of a sudden it started writing. Couldn't see what it was writing but I kept getting the words get out now, get out. So you heard it at the yeah. same time that it yeah. Right. Right. Are you aware of what yeah, was going on? Yeah, I knew it was moving and it, it was like the letters were massive and just but I didn't know what it was writing. And then once I'd finished writing that was it. Um, and then I, kept, I said to Rich, Rich, I've got the words get out now, get out. They was doing the Ouija board. Um, well, there was a plant chip board, wasn't it, in there? Yeah. Um, and they, they was asking questions, but it wasn't responding. And then I heard, they said, oh, you not, do you not want to do it? And all of a sudden I got, no, I'm not playing, just get out. Wow. How did you feel about that? It was absolutely great. I, was <laughs> just, kind of, I just could not believe it. <laughs> then Rich came over and I said to him, I'd finished writing on the board. He looked at the yeah. board and on there, he looked clear as anything gets out. What do you think it was? <laughs> Spirit. Well, I believe it. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely. definitely. Fantastic. Exciting yeah. action tonight. Then. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One lady said she thought it might be Emily and the other said Meredith. So we're just, I was just asking now, she's made her hands feel warm and she's sat next to it and her whole body's gone warm to the left side. Oh, that's so warm. Both yeah. hands warm? Yeah, very, very warm. Yeah. Un unbelievable, really, considering how cold. Hold the hand of one of the women in this room. Oh, no. Nobody's going to hurt you. And we can play a game. Are you feeling anything? Ooh, big old brand. Have you got so. something around? Big old brand. If yeah. you take a photo of this lady now in the black coat, I've, I've, I've just... you will get a dark shadow sitting next to her Hello. by her legs. Does that Nord go around her head? She's, she's on the left. Is she on your left side? She always sits to the left, I think always. She's holding my left hand. Is it tingling like pins and needles? Yeah. Yeah, she's holding your hand. I haven't got a hairy hand, but so what's, hairy. <laughs> what's your name? Steph. Do you like Steph? Have you got a name with the little girl? I have, yeah. Do you know it? Well, I'm just name? getting Emily come to me. Emily, it's Meredith. Mm. Close, Emily. similar. Do you want to play the game? Do you want to see if you can run amongst us all now and pull our coats? Or do you want to sit next to Stephanie? If you want to sit next to Stephanie, make a sound that we can all hear. Can you move, 
something. See if you can bang on this wood like me. Stamp your feet on the floor. Is it not safe up there? Or what? Not with the ghosts, it's not. No, that. You're scared, it, it's literally We're going to let you lead the way, Richard. In that case, can we go? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, come on, bring it on. Yeah. Can we go? Yeah. I need a torch. Oh, can I have a torch? It wasn't going to be a, a fort. Um, that was going to need to defend the place. So the Royal Engineers yeah. then held huge, huge exercises. And actually the people of Chatham would come out and people would watch as the engineers attacked the place and blew the fort. So they used it as yeah, a they used to breach it, venue, exactly, to breach it, to yeah. charge oh. through the, the yeah. place. And so they were taken to turn attack the fort. Yeah, fascinating. Um, and so they did massive. Wow. All the old forts around here, Fort Luton and places like that, were all attacked. Is this just, this is outside the building, is it? Yeah, it's on top, but... You know I mean, I don't know what further goes on down there because no, I haven't been down there. No. But, uh, so this would not be. No, this is outside. This is outside, yeah. How strange. Obviously, when we've been doing our vigils in here tonight, we've again very consistent. So Thomas has been very wonderful to to <laughs> us all. We've had the same smells, which is a very it's like geranium. We've had cigar smells. We've had. He loves walking, walking around amongst the ladies, touching the ladies. So I think it'd be quite interesting to do a circle, yeah, actually, and just with in, ladies, yeah. actually, in the circle, just okay. to see if ladies we could get... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all grew up on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's been going on. And, and, and just, see if we can, just to see if we can get his energy going. Okay. Well, if we've got a circle of ladies, it'd be kind of nice if we got a circle of gentlemen around the outside to protect us. That'd, that'd be safe. Yeah. Yeah. Would that yeah. be good? Yeah. Yeah. That's really I, I good. I feel I'm going to take a boat wandering around behind us. Just sort of like clear the minds and just focus in. And let's, we're holding hands. Let's see if we can build up the energy in this. In this area tonight, we need to visualise the white light above your head. And this is energy, and I want this energy to go down from the top of your head, down to your neck, to your shoulder. Maybe breathe in their ear. I get a breeze right across my left cheek. Yeah. Can you feel that from me? The lady who with the cream hat on, that's where he's okay. he's been standing behind most of the people who's been standing in that Did area. Did you do that tonight. on purpose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna try and achieve first of all is we just want some energy building in here, okay? You're welcome to take pictures. The only thing I say is if you're taking pictures, please let us know, just shout flash or something, because otherwise I end up blinded. Okay? <laughs> um, the other thing is if you're using torches when you're working with me, you're going to start seeing your aim up down the floor when, you, when you're walking around, because otherwise, again, I get blinded, so we'll be chipping. Please. Right, turn, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's my situation, I say, don't worry. Alright? Because all we want to do is just get a general idea. Okay? Brilliant. Alright, now see how different it is. Okay, people very often say to me, um, you know, why do you do ghost hunts in the night? Why do we do them in the night? Come on, tell me. Right, so we can see something, but why am I seeing it? Yeah, okay, the reason we do it in the dark, so you leave them off for a bit, let's just get used to the atmosphere, okay? The reason we do it in the dark is because, number one, what can't you do? You can't see, okay? That's the thing we took away from you, that's what we wanted to look at. We're trying to say, do you know what? If you can't see it, what you're going to do is start hearing it, you're going to start smelling it, you're going to start sensing it in another way. That's what we want to do, okay? So, what we're going to do, just give me a minute and let me just link in to where we're going. One thing I will tell you about this room is when we first did the commercial, if anybody's seen it before, and this room, uh, we actually heard footsteps in, okay? So, just let me work with this now. One of the things I want to try and do is just see if we can get anything in terms of either a silent vigil or anything like that. Now, remember what I told you about safety, about being secure, okay? Please don't anyone be afraid. That's the main thing of all. Now, this guy, as he talks to me, talks to me about things being different or very different in here. And once he said that this building has changed, he talks to me about 1850s, it's changed. He's making me aware that I'm feeling very sort of overshadowed by this guy in the moment, almost as though he's wanting to take control or it could be very dominant in this room. Okay? Now, if any of you are aware of anything or picking anything up, please, please, please tell me, won't you? Where I was stood at the table, 
to the staircase, there's another staircase to my left at the moment. And I'm aware there's a gentleman stood on the staircase at the bottom. I wanted to say, and he talks to me about, um, I wanted to say, oh, we just have got a rounded, or, or he talks to me about being one of the rounded, something like that. Okay. I'm also aware I've got French or I've got European accent coming in here at the same time. Okay. Let's just go with this and see what we can do. We've got any spirits in this room with us now? Anybody who wants to communicate, could you please do so now for us? Could you give us a tap or a knock? Everybody's fingers. Yeah. What's that going to make? I don't know. Let's try okay, it. Okay, let's, let's go with it. Let's just go with it. Rods are moving. Magnet, mate. Come on. Move the glass for me now. Move the glass around this coffin lid that it happens to be on. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, we're going. Thank we're you. Going. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If thank it is, you. If it is a man or a super spirit. Yay. You, you are awesome. Okay, we're circling round to the left now. Okay, the bobs are going at exactly the same time. Oh, so yes. Circling round to the left. What I want you to do now for me is just to gather the energies from these people. And let me tell you, this is positive energy that's here for you tonight. It is. Only positive energy. Light. Can you is join this in, the building that you used to work in? Join in to keep the circle. Is this the building that you worked in? Yes. Awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, it's okay, circling in the opposite awesome. direction now. Yeah. Until you say it was worrying me with that glass, although well, they're working it, the fact that it was worrying me with that glass, they didn't want to work down here, but they want to put it over Gary's head. <laughs> Gary, that is fantastic. You're super. Really? Thank you for that. Okay, so we've got a visitor, somebody that loves being here, they're not Bring trapped here. Yeah. Work here. Yeah. I haven't asked you, are you a male spirit? I want you to call down that side. Okay, you're great. I want you to say, um, stop the glass now for me, please. You want to bring it forward? Yeah. Tom, are you about 11 or 12? Right. Are you 14? Tom, was you the monkey up here, the gunpowder monkey? Wait, can you stop for one minute? Hello? Do you want us to leave? Come on, do you want us to leave? The night's vigils draw to a close, with the guests reflecting on the evening's events, as Compass Paranormal's Denise Mott gives a closing speech of thanks. Such a worthy cause which we're raising money for, and after 12 years as soldier's wife, I know how important the charity is to our brave men and women of the armed forces. So I'd like to take a moment of your time to thank you, and some of the people who've helped me make this event. Steve, where are you? Yes, Pep. And without Steve's help, yeah, you're representative for helping the heroes. There's no way we could have planned this without you. Thank you. <laughs> right, and to Barry John and Roy Roberts, our very special mediums, thank you very much as well. <laughs> and Jackie Newcomb, our very special own angel lady, oh, thank you. <laughs>
Antlers is a fascinating location, full of history and heritage, that sits along with its many stories of paranormal activity. The evening raised much needed funds for the Help for Heroes charity, and as the guests leave for the night, there is little doubt they will be drawn back for another encounter with the ghosts of Fort Amherst.